Hi, welcome to ChannelShip.com. I'm Rob D'Amico, here with Michelle Rahal. That would be me. We got a bit of a situation here, ladies and gentlemen. No, not because Rahal was caught partying in an infield at another racetrack. Pulled around in a wagon, <laughs> wheelchair. Video coming soon, I'm telling you. We have a problem with teammates. We saw Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon behind Dale Earnhardt Jr. at Talladega, trying to get around him for some five points because he definitely needs it. He's outside that top 12 right now. And guess what Dale said? If he wants them, he's got to earn them. Come get them. Thank God. I am so sick of team orders and all this team spirit. What is this, football, hockey? No, it's racing cars. It's every man for himself, guns or knives, Butch. That's just how I feel. Team orders in, in NASCAR, it to me is a joke. I know that they want to play nice and they want to be good to each other. Whenever you put talented people on the same team, you better expect Formula One. You better, because that's exactly what happened to Alonzo and to uh, uh, Hamilton last year. Exactly the same thing. Two talented people, they let them be equal. What happened? Doomed. Well, I, I really like this situation because you see, it's Dale Earnhardt Jr. and he's got Jeff Gordon. These are some big egos, folks. I mean, to be a race car driver, you got to be a self-centered sob. I'm not, you know, I'm not. No, it's you know, the truth. I'm not going to candy coat anything here, but it's it, the it, truth. seriously, these guys are so tough against each other, and I'm glad to see it because it's bringing a great competition level to the sport. I think it's doing exactly that. I think that you know everybody. Uh, let me lead a lap. Uh, let me have this. Let me have that. No way, Nancy. Horse get around crap. me. <laughs> Every man for himself. It really is. You pick, and you especially in the restrictor plate race, you pick your partners. I don't care if it's your teammate or not. I mean, you've got you've got uh, Montoya was working with with Kyle Busch, and and Kyle Busch admitted it. I mean, you pick whomever you can get to the front with, and once it's done, that's it. It's go for the flag doesn't matter. Here's what I like about it. Jeff Gordon gets, you know, he makes those comments on the radio saying, hey, he's going to let me lead a, a lap here, get me the five points that I need. No, I'm not. You got to earn it. And here's what I, I, I really I'll bet it's written in his contract. I'll bet it's written in his contract and we're never going to know. Well, here, here's my point on that is that Jeff Gordon's one of those guys, and I, I, I hate saying this because I know I'm going to get some emails about this, but Jeff Gordon will whine about it. And I hate seeing that because, Nancy, you better get in the kitchen and make me something because this is racing. This is all out. Like you said earlier, guns are knives, Butch. It's a good deal, Cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> but all Come right. on. The guy's a race car driver. He's playing by the rules that he's used to seeing. You know, he is That's used true. to being in that, same, in that environment where everybody worked together. This is a fantastic team. Not anymore. Playtime's over. Let's all fight. All right, let's switch teams. Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin, those are two other guys that seem to have some trouble at Talladega. Working to, together, Denny Hamlin was great, and he worked with anybody out there. And But Kyle Busch on the radio said, same thing happened at Daytona, and they were talking about the problems that they have working together, together out there. Now, I, I, I want to say that Roush this seems to have the, the team that these guys have put together with team orders. You see a lot of team orders going on out there. He has a totally different structure. He does not have doesn't have the personalities, the egos that exist within JGR. I predicted these two guys who are supposed to be great friends, Kyle and Denny, would not be such great friends after they started racing with each other. Why? Because they both want to win. They both want to win and they're not going to put up with team orders. He didn't help. He didn't do Kyle any favors. Kyle didn't do him any favors at Talladega, nor for the last couple of races. So I don't think, I don't think there's any argument at all I hate team orders. You can work with somebody, but you work with them up to the point of the last few laps, and then it's all every every man for himself. Well, let's not kid ourselves, folks. Who wouldn't be jealous of Kyle Busch? The guy's incredible. He is the NASCAR show right now. I say it over and over again, but he definitely deserves it. The kid can drive the wheels off of anything out there. I'd have to agree with you, I think, and I've said it before. I think this kid was a potential Formula One driver. He had every ability to adapt. We see how he drives a race car. It's so loose, most people could not keep that car on the track. That's the way he likes it. And what has he done in all three marquee divisions? This kid has gotten himself a win. He is in the top of the standings. I think he's incredible. No doubt. All right, could Ugly, we? but incredible. <laughs> hey, a little dorky, yeah, I get all that. Uh, look what I got to deal with here, folks. <laughs> all right, couldn't we argue the point that Ryan Newman and teamwork 
does work because we saw it at Daytona with Kurt Busch and Ryan Newman? I think the only reason it works is because you got Roger Penske at the helm. Roger Penske runs his business, his, all of his business, with a very centric view. A, all orders come from the center down, and that's how they operate. So if Ryan Newman came up in front of him at Daytona, he was going to hit him and let him, let him win. He had nowhere to go. Might as well hit him. You got an opinion? We want to hear about it. Send us your videos. All you got to do is log on to channelshift.com, hit the upload button. Here's my ego. I'm Rob D'Amico. Thanks for watching.